Ugandan opposition lawmaker Robert Changulani is appealing to President Yoweri Museveni to place statesmanship ahead of political ambitions. In his first official address to the media since his return from the United States last week, Changulani, better known as Bobby Wine, asked Museveni to think about his life after office. Halima Thumani has more from Kampala. We want to be free to express our opinions without fear of persecution. This was the message that opposition lawmaker Robert Chagulanyi, better known as Bobby Wine, directed at President Yoro Museveni Mandi. It was Chagulanyi's first news conference since he returned from the United States, where he was receiving medical treatment for injuries he says he received last month while in police custody. He accused Museveni of becoming a tyrant who has turned Ugandans into fugitives because they hold a contrary opinion to his. Chagulanyi appealed to Museveni to care more for the next generation instead of the next general elections. The nation has always been looking up to you. It is not too late, Mr. President, to do what is right. It is not too late to listen to our cries. It is not too late to regain your legacy, to, 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 to save your legacy, Mr. President. VOA reached out to a government spokesman for comment on Chagulani's remarks but received no reply. Police and soldiers were out in force when Chagulani landed at Entebbe International Airport last week to prevent his supporters from holding any matches or rallies. Political analyst Andrew Karamaji describes Chagulani's message to Museveni as one of reconciliation, but he doubts the Ugandan leader will consider the message. I think that he ought to um, self-introspect and think about um, what has gone on before, the contribution he has made, the interest of safeguarding his legacy, whatever he has done, which, is he, which he is now starting to unravel and destroy, and think about those things and now move towards securing that legacy and ensuring that we have a peaceful, the first peaceful transition in our country. Chagulanyi and 32 others face treason charges for allegedly throwing stones at President Museveni's convoy in the town of Arua. If convicted, they could face the death penalty. Halima Athmani, VA News, Kampala.